Good morning. Today is Saturday, October 5th, 2019. Week number 44, month number 10. 10. 10. 10. Holy cow. <laughs> That's gone really quickly. Um, yeah, it's been pretty easy too, I'd say. Yes, I would agree with that. So we'll dive right in. Jive? Jive. We'll jive right we'll in. Jive. The we'll jive, dive right in. <laughs> Yeah, so December 1st, 2018, uh, I started at 382.6 weight-wise. And today, October 5th, 2019, I weighed in at 329.4. And if you saw us last week, uh, I am down 0.2. Yes. I'll take it, though. Yeah. Better than being up 0.2, right? It absolutely <laughs> is. And total for me has been 53.2 pounds lost since December of last year. So I'm pretty happy with that. My BMI has also changed. Last year in December, I was 44.2 on the BMI chart. Mm -hmm. And now I'm 38 on the BMI chart. So I'm 6.2 down on the BMI overall. And measurement-wise, I started last year in December at 241.5 as a total measurement for my body. Um, waist, hips, thighs, mm -hmm. arms, neck, things of that nature. Today... I was 220.5, which is a total of 21 inches difference lost on inches, and it's two inches down from last month. Yes. So overall, two inches down on, on measurements. Yeah, so overall with all this, I'm pretty darn happy on my numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you end up today, Stace? So I started uh, on December 1st, 2018. At uh, 180.2. This morning I weighed in at 129.2, so I'm a total of 51 pounds down. Um, I lost three pounds from last week to this week. Um, very strange week though, as on midnights, it was Shark Week and retaining a lot of water. My rings, I couldn't even get my rings off. Um, so, so it sounds good that you're regulating again, getting back into. <sighs> Thank Swing. goodness. Um, BMI, I was at 30 when we started, and I am now at 21.5. Um, so I've lost a total of 8.5 on the BMI. That's great. It is. Um, measurements, um, all the same measurements except for I have the... You have an extra one or two bust. for like bust or... Yeah. <laughs> but I was at 215 inches total. And measured in at 181.75 this morning. So I'm down a total of 33.25. Total inches total, lost. Total, and only one from last month, but... Yeah, so you're down one inch from last month, from the yeah. nine-month weigh-ins. But uh, hey, that's all great. And you're, you're so close to your body weight, though. Did you ever figure out a goal weight or just kind of whatever you're comfortable at? I'm pretty comfortable right where... Right, if you continue to lose, you do. And if you don't, you if don't. If I lose... Maybe another five pounds, okay, but I'm very you. comfortable where I'm at, so um, I'm feeling good, looking good. Most for well, you is you want to, well, I think you look good, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, most for you is wanting to get toned up now with the loose, you know, things are a little saggy for all of us. You, you all know what I'm talking about. Exactly. You know, don't even act like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so together, uh, we've gotten through this. Yes. Uh, you've lost 51 pounds since December. And, and that's lost. not even my heaviest, nor was it his heaviest. No, you're right. I was 442. Um, gosh, this has been eight, nine years ago. But 442 was my worst at in terms six, of weight. Six. At six foot six tall. 442, and my sugars were three, 400 every day. I was on yeah. a million medicines. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I've lost 53.2, and you've lost 51 since December of last year. My only regret is not starting doing this earlier. Honestly. Same. Yeah. So together, we have lost a total at the 10-month mark of 104 pounds, 104.2 pounds. Yay. I'm very excited. Good, Good job. job. <laughs> Jinx. Jinx. All right. So um, got a little bit, a little bit of non-scale victory. I just saw the doctor, um, and basically, I was on a ton of medicines. My sugars were horrible, three to four hundreds. Um, I am no longer on insulin, which was 140 units a day. I'm no longer on Genuvia, which was 100 milligrams a day. I'm no longer on Amaro, which is glimpyride, I believe, uh, glimpyride, something like that, 8 milligram a day, no longer. Uh, metformin, I was on 2,000 milligram a day. I am on 500 milligram a day and 
This is the most exciting part. Let me see if I can get this right. For one week, I will take my baseline fasting morning sugars, and I need to give that to the doctor. Then for three weeks, he's proposing I go off metformin, and I check my sugar every morning for three weeks straight. If I don't go up more than 20 points, I can stay off metformin. If I go over 20 points, it's not a failure. It just means that I still need to go back to the right. metformin until I reduce some more weight. As I continue to lose weight, he's thinking I'll be able to get off that very soon. So my big goal is obviously I'd love to be off of it for the next month, uh, but maybe, you know, within the year. I'd like to try, yeah. try and be a former diabetic, you know, where I can get those numbers into the closer ranges. So maybe I'll even do some weekly follow-ups on that for me, just a little short Friday video or something saying, yeah. here's where I'm at, baseline sugars. I'm, I'm fighting sugars constantly, but hey, you know what? They're one-third of what they used to be when I was on all those yes. medicines. It's, it's the weight, it's the foods, it's, it's changing things. It's everything. So, uh, I'm very excited. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited about that. He's very nervous, but yeah. you got this. What, look what we've done in the last 10 months. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not even just a weight thing, but getting off the medicines has been huge. huge. And feeling Absolutely. better, feeling better. My not joints don't to hurt the as bad. pharmacy every time I turn around. Yeah, we would go through a lot of co-pays. <laughs> A lot of doctor visits, a lot of endo visits. I don't even see the endo anymore. They don't. Nope. It's not necessary. Done. Not a yeah. So, and the podiatrist, the foot doctor, used to have to see him all the time. I was always having huge yeah. problems with my pain. Uh, I think it was gabapentin, I believe, was what I yeah. used to take, like 3,600 milligrams of gabapentin a day to try and help with the foot pain because of the neuropathy that I was having. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's 100% gone because I do get them now and then. Yeah. But it's not something where I need a medicine every day where I was, you know, in pain and crying about it. Right. I'm big, I'm big baby about that stuff. So, uh, hey, we had a little bit of time off together with Stace, which I haven't seen her in forever. Uh, two of the days that we had off, we had planned for bike rides. We did get one on Tuesday, but on Thursday we got totally rained out. I was bummed. We had a blast. Stacy's face was just plastered with a big smile the entire bike ride. It was so fun. We yeah. did like an eight-mile bike ride. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, so I'll tell you what, though. Those bikes give you a workout because my core, my <laughs> chest, my shoulders, my forearms, my – because I think I was even, you know, holding on a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I, I – He was white-knuckling it a little bit. <clears throat> Maybe I was. I don't know. But when I, when I got done, I, I realized, man, I'm a little sore. So it's not just your legs that get that workout because my whole core. Yeah, well, you're balancing yeah, you're and you're, you're, you're turning on your corners so you're feeling it on, yeah. your, on your sides. And yeah, I was I was uh, quite surprised at how sore I was the next morning because yeah. I ride the stationary bike here downstairs, but there's no core to that. You know, you're just sitting back and you're watching TV. You're sitting back relaxed um, and not paying attention. Yeah, when you're on a bike and you're leaning forward and you're ditching, you know, like little <laughs> sticks in the road and puddles and whatever else yeah we had some rain just before that so we were there were some down you definitely down feel branches it. well at the end of this video you'll see our pictures of when we started day one versus today and i hope you can see the difference i, I definitely see the difference <laughs> stacy cheated today she looked at the pictures i couldn't help it i, I wanted to see normally i leave and go to off. work which i'm going to do now um, but then he does the video and usually either that night or the next day, I'll see the video and, 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 and the pictures and this morning I couldn't help it. I had to, and I, I had was to using, peek. I was using the last pictures as comparison. So I lined the shot up similarly so that we get an equal shot. Right. And, and when it was on the phone, she's like, Oh, you have, Oh, so she started flipping through them all. So she cheated on me. <laughs> I did. You cheated. I cheated. Yeah. But only on pictures. Yeah, okay. I wanted to see. I couldn't help it. It's pretty amazing. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Ex look at. It. I'm pretty excited. It's. It was. We also got a new toy. As you know, I'm addicted to Amazon. <clears throat> no. So, no. Not you me. didn't tell me about that addiction. No, it's an addiction. Uh, we've been using the heck out of our little um, waffle maker, the chaffle maker, the dash, and uh, I've, I've really considered buying a second one because they're only like ten, twelve bucks, whatever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, a lot of times I'll make those in the morning and it's like, gosh, I wish I had two of these so I could just make two really fast. Um, so when we were talking about um, the truffles and making the bowls and the things like that, um, I found a double waffle, truffle, bowl maker. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
So this way we could make it. something like a quick lunch, like a taco salad lunch or something, and we can make the two little chaffle bowls at the exact same time. Yes. So I, I got one and uh, we just started messing with it and we made, we mocked up and made some taco bowl salad type of a, a thing and it was amazing. It was so good that Stacy came home from work <laughs> At what, was it 10 o'clock at night? I know I shouldn't have eaten that late, but I thought about tacos all, all day. day. Because of us making because, it. Right. And then she's like, well, we need to we need to do a video for these and we need to do this. You know, I need to make tacos right now. So oh. she made tacos at like 10 o'clock at night. Of course, I'm like, I don't really want to eat this, but it, you had like a bite <laughs> left, like a third of one left. So she gave it to me and I, I finished it. But uh, man, they were amazing. They're really good. So... Uh, I'm hoping it'll be a pretty simple recipe, but sometimes yeah. simple is what works, you know. It, you our can do this pizza, within 15 you know, minutes. Our fathead pizza is pretty yeah. simple, and we eat that every week, you yeah. know, whenever we can get it made at least. I'm not real good at making that stuff. I, I don't follow directions well. I'm more of an open a can, pour it in a bowl kind of guy. Steamed broccoli in the bag, open it kind of guy. Make my chicken thighs. I know how to do that. <laughs> 400. Hey, do that with his eyes closed. 440 minutes. Check it with the temperature thing, and I'm good. But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll we'll be getting a video out for that soon because I I really enjoy that little machine. Oh my goodness. And I have a tendency to just use like the Birch Menders Keto Pancake Mix, and I'll make my little chaffles in the morning. It's nothing really fancy that I need to share a recipe of. It's just you know low carb yeah. pancake mix. I'll make one or two of those with some scrambled eggs and a little bit of bacon or something. And hey, it's a really good Hey, you could use the chaffle bowl with your pancake mix and then mm -hmm. do your egg and your sausage in it. And then yeah, do it like a yeah, just breakfast something different. burrito. Almost like a mix up uh, scrambled eggs with some ham or scrambled eggs with some bacon in it and then pour it in there. It's and so easy. It takes like five minutes to do your it little chaffle bowl. It is a lot of fun. So uh, stay tuned, like I said, at the end of the video, if you're still hanging out. And you'll see our pictures of uh, day one versus uh, day, what is it, month 10? Month 10, week 44. Week 44. Hopefully and 104.2 pounds down. pounds together down since December of last year. And, you should uh, see a difference. You should see the difference. Stacy saw the difference. Yes. She already peaked. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with us. And we will see you next week. Uh, if not sooner, because we might be able to squeak something out. Do you have any days off this week that I might actually see you? <sighs> no. This week is a little... I'm all, two weeks, no. A few so weeks away changing. from end of contract. It is. Nothing's changing. I'm almost out of contract. But yes. Nothing's changing. Same stuff, different week. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all. Bye. Bye.